Hello everyone, my name is Samir Awalu. Uh, I'm going to show you how to analyze resistivity data using IPI to win. Uh, before you do that, you have to uh, get your data and uh, prepare it. I've already prepared my notepad. Uh, let me open the data. Uh, this is my AV over 2, that is the, the spacing, and this is the resistivity values. Now, I'm going to copy this resistivity values, copy, then I'll close this. Now I open my IP <coughs> win, then after opening this, I go to file then go to new VES point click on new VES point because if you look at it here you have your AB over 2 here and you have the resistivity values here so now just uh, I've already copied my own I'll paste it here when I paste you can see that these are the AB over 2 and it's uh, stopped at the depth of 30 meters and uh, the last resistivity here is uh, 800 and uh, 56.2 which in the case that uh, we have reached uh, some hard rock there or uh, a basement there now you click on OK and uh, you save this data you can give it uh, a name uh, preferably here I'm going to give it Ofra Kaura Ofra Kaura Over Kaura, over Kaura. Now, after this, I save the data. Uh, already, it contains a file in that name. Yes, use a uh, replace. Then save. Now you can see that it plotted. <coughs> it plots uh, the graph. Uh, this black line. Uh, this black line you are seeing is your observed uh, data while uh, this blue line is the uh, inverted data or is the resistivity data this black line is the distance and this uh, uh, blue line is the resistivity data now you place on uh, you place on ok and you have uh, this this red this black line is the observed data that matches the line spacing and also the resistivity while this line red line you're seeing is the inverted is the inverted uh, uh, values now we go to here and we, uh, we click on the or oh, the red line we call it calculated uh, values while this black one we call it the observed the field observed value so we go here, you see here, when you place your cursor on it, you see inversion. You click on invert. Now, you can see that uh, uh, this red line become a curve instead of a straight line. And uh, look at it here. You have a uh, uh, root mean square error of 33.5%. Now, what we do, we try to match this black line and this red line. At the same time, we try to reduce the noise, the error here, the noise. And uh, uh, to do this, uh, we, we, we can move this blue line. If you just click on here, you can move it up and down. You see, this is moving up and down. You can move also this one side by side. You can move it here. You can move it here. You can see how I'm moving it. So, and you can move this also this line here and here. So you can move the line as uh, you wish. So now looking at, looking at this now, I'm going to try to make a smooth curve, this red line, so that it match with this uh, black one. Now the first thing to do now uh, to, is to uh, maybe break a layer. Let me click on this line. When you click on this line, uh, you can see that it highlighted uh, the first layer there which is 39 uh, with the resistivity of 39.8 
So you go to here, you see split the layer. You click on split layer, then you come here, you drag down. See, when I drag down, you see this is uh, showing, uh, this is moving the red line, and at the same time, the arrow is moving. You can look at it. Look, if you look at this, you can see that the arrow is still is moving. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, we can also move this sideways a bit. We can also move this sideways a bit. And we can also move this downward a bit. So, do, do it's, instead of reducing it, increase. So, we can move this down. Down. So, we can move this uh, here. this a bit up this a bit this way still uh, this one I can still break this layer and uh, see if I can get something here now this let's break this move this a bit up here and move this bit down here then this one move it up and this move it sideways sideways and uh, this up a bit move this up a bit up a bit up a bit and uh, also move this one up up and move this a bit inside the outside 32 okay See, I am trying to smooth this. So now what I will do, let me break this layer so that I can get uh, something good. I think uh, this from here, we can no longer uh, reduce the arrow. But uh, looking at uh, the data here, let me see if I can uh, move this here.
So uh, let's leave it like this. So you can see that we have uh, five layers here. Uh, this line, the first row is the serial number. That is the number of layers we are having. And uh, this row represents the resistivity. And also this represents the thickness of each layer. Well, this represents the depth uh, of uh, these uh, four first layer. Uh, so uh, the thickness of the first layer is uh, 1.5, uh, 3. The second layer is 2.81. The third layer is 3.27. And uh, uh, fifth, uh, fourth layer is 3.61. While the total depth to this fourth layer is 11 meter now here we can deduce uh, many things from here if you look at it here we are having 39 30 27.4 and here we have 18 then from 18 we have uh, this so from here it is indicating that this low resistivity here indicates that something is happening here something is happening here though uh, this uh, resistivity uh, here is the can also contain uh, weathered uh, basement uh, or fractured uh, which can contain water and uh, salt due to uh, its porosity. So you can make interpretation from this result. These are the resistivity, this is the thickness of each layer, this is the depth, and this is the elevation. This negative sign indicates that you are going down. You are going down, this is the elevation. Thank you very much for listening.